In this question it says given that y is inversely proportional to x squared and that y equals 8 when x equals 0.5, find an expression for y in terms of x. Pause the video and have a go at the question. If not, feel free to go straight forward to how I'm going to talk through to answer this in a GCSE. Okay, so first of all, we've got um, this statement here that y is inversely proportional to x squared. Now, where people commonly go wrong is they miss that word saying inversely. Inversely means correctly what I've said here, which is y is proportional to 1 over x squared. The inversely means that 1 over. If you wrote it as y proportional x squared like this here, then you're saying it's directly proportional. Directly proportional be written as this one here, but as you can see, I've marked that incorrect. The next thing I'm going to do is change this proportionality sign straight to an equals, and then the 1 is going to change to k. Now, there's no reason why you can't skip straight to this line here. You don't need to do this one. Even though it's correct, I like to write it in, but you can skip straight next to this one. The next thing that we're going to do is go back to the question here, and where we can see y equals 8 and x equals 0.5, that is going to go into this statement here. I've substituted the y for 8, and I've substituted the x for 0.5. Next, I'm going to work out the value of k by getting rid of this divided by 0.5 squared. So as you can see here, dividing by 0.5 squared is going to change to times by 0.5 squared. Now this is a calculated question, so I can just go straight in and put that statement into my calculator to find that k is equal to 2. But 0.5 squared is 0.5 times 0.5. Again, common misconception, people think that's 2.5. It's not, it's 0.25. 0.25 is also a quarter, so 8 times by a quarter would be 2 as well. It's another way of getting there if we didn't have a calculator. And what's really important is that you come back to this statement here where we said that uh, y was equal to that and we change the k for 2. That's all that's changed there. We're now going to use this statement here to help us answer the values in the table. Now we can already see them, but everything is coming off this formula that I've just worked out that y is equal to 2 over x squared. In this first question, we weren't, we weren't told what the value of this was. How did I work it out? Well, I went straight to y equals 2 over x squared, and I changed the y for 800. I've then said that we've got 2 divided by x squared. I'm going to stop the, the x squared being divided by by times in both sides by x squared to get 800 x squared equals 2. I'm now going to get the x squared by itself by dividing both sides by the 800. I'm then going to get rid of the squared by square rooting here. To get square root of 2 over 800 or 1 over 400 is equal to this 0.05. The next value, we're told that x is 0.2 and to find the value of y. As we can see, it's 50, but how did I get there? I got there by looking at this statement here that I made from a, that y equals 2 over x squared, and I substituted the value for x to be 0.2. 0.2 squared, 2 divided by that gave me an answer of 50.